Hey everybody, Matt Britton here for Yeland Homestead. I'm in Algonquin Park today and I'm going to do my first winter camp out. Uh, I've been something I've been wanting to do for a long time and I just decided that I didn't have the time to head up to Yeland so uh, Algonquin's only about five hours from, uh, from where I'm at. So I played hockey in London and then I actually traveled the rest of the way overnight. Should be pretty interesting. I'm going to gather up all my gear here and I'm going to head down the trail and just head in until I find a nice spot with a rock, something I can set up a lean to and get a fire going, get some food happening. So yeah, that's the plan for that. I don't want to do too much traveling because I do have a fair amount of gear and I, I should have had a sled, but uh, yeah, then I'm just going to go with the backpack and it should work out pretty good. So it'll be interesting and I hope you enjoy the footage of beautiful Algonquin Park here in central Ontario. Here, all packed up, ready to go. Uh, just gonna start heading down the trail. It is exactly noon, so uh, I got everything ready to go. I'm probably gonna have to do. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Gonna probably have to do two trips um, to come back and get the sleeping gear and the rest of the stuff, but I'm gonna go in for probably about half an hour to an hour uh, make my way back there'll be another 45 back in and then I can start collecting wood and getting the fire going and uh, and start cooking some food and getting warm and get my bed ready pretty excited to see what this trail has to offer and uh, yeah so we'll see you when we get to the campsite what are you doing I don't know why you're tiring yourself out. We got a long way to go. <laughs> so the snow is not too deep. Uh, it's probably compacted a bit, but here's a pretty nice score right off the hop. It's some birch bark. So I'll pull that off, and that'll uh, that'll help me get my first fire started. Maca loves it in her element. None of this back home. Not even close. <clears throat> now as you can see in my bag there, I bought I brought a little stack of kindling just to make sure that I can uh, get fires going. So Yeah, strapping the snowshoes on, getting the gear going, and we're heading out. Well, after about an hour and a bit, an hour and 15, oh, almost biffed there, I found what I think is a great camp for the night. Right in here, I'm going to clear the snow. concern I have oh. my only concern I have is not falling for one oh. wow look at that stick right in there Right in that hole. There. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by the stick. Because I was just worried that something might be living in there, but. Man, that's tough going. But yeah, 
she's got a nice wall here and what I'm hoping is I can run my tarp from one side to the other with this big tree here so that's it for right now I gotta clean the snow and I gotta go back and get a couple more things so I gotta get the tripod and I'll be able to show you what goes on so stay tuned As you can see, I got the fire going there. Mark is resting on the bed. Not too shabby. It's definitely a sight for sore eyes. I uh, haven't ate as much as I should have today. Be back at her tomorrow. Hopefully, I got enough wood to last the night. We'll see how she goes. Fire set up, boots are drying. Um, Mac is eating for the third time. It was a busy day, a lot of traveling. It's, uh, it was good. Well, it's morning. Got a bit of snow last night. this little woods <coughs> burner. It's nice and small, goes in that container. I have it as a backup because uh, I knew the, uh, the wood was going to be a bit wet because it was raining and stuff as I was coming in. So I knew it was going to be a challenge to get firewood going and uh, it's not too too bad but at the same time I just want to make a tea and hopefully it's warm enough. The only thing about these, these uh, butane units is that they they don't work the best in the cold. So. Well, woke up to uh, Maka kind of losing it, chasing something. So I don't know, something was coming down uh, this hill probably. Coming to check us out, check out the food. Uh, there's a few things that it could be. I seen, uh, I seen something yesterday up in the tree. It was, uh, I actually had my bag on the trail. And it had all the food in it. <laughs> and, uh something came along I seen it behind the bag and so it was around the bag checking it out didn't try to go in my bag or anything but and then it went up in the tree and I got some pictures of it so I'll put that in the video there Yeah, so hopefully that's what it was this morning, but 
Uh, that's how I was woke up by uh, her trying to chase something off, which is which is really good. I was able to get some sleep. But yeah, overall, pretty good night. Uh, slept pretty good. Woke up a few times. Uh, just check on the fire and stuff, and I just built it up so that it'd burn and I'd get some sleep. I was gonna probably sleep a little bit longer, but. Got woke up by the dog chasing something off, eh? Hey, you did. Thirsty? No? Just tea. What are you hungry? Hmm? Next time, I think I'll bring my little stool. It's just a small metal frame that folds out. It's not too bad. It's light. of the water I brought in. Needless to say, I definitely brought too much. I'm gonna go uh, get a yurt in the park, hopefully, if they're available. I didn't check yesterday, which I should have, but... Yeah, I'm gonna get a yurt for the night just so I can put my gear in there and uh, it's got electric heat, so it's a bit of a... Uh, it's cheating a bit. It's going to be minus 15 tonight. Not that that scares me. That sleeping bag's minus 44 and uh, I wasn't cold at all. The uncomfortableness of the bed is what woke me up. So. Just pretty sore. It'd be nice to just uh, set up and then uh, be able to go skating and go to exploring and not have to carry all the gear and stuff. So yeah, it'd be pretty nice. Just gonna have some tea and uh, get ready to pack up and head out. Well, one benefit of yesterday's warmer weather was that my trail got packed pretty good and I can walk on it without snowshoes as of right now. But that's just here. So yeah, this was the setup. That was the bed. And all the gear here. Mac is checking out uh, what was eating her dog food and whatnot. But these were the little caves for the rock that I was storing the food in and stuff. So pretty cool. Store the gear in there. I mean, if you had to go away or whatever, you could store your food in there and put another rock in front of it. But What is it? Hmm? <laughs> so just gotta check it out. Yeah, I got uh, all the gear packed up pretty much, except for the tarp. So I don't want the other gear to get covered in snow. So yeah, just getting ready to head out. It's about a half hour snowshoe out. Um, shouldn't be too, too bad. Trail's already packed, so. We didn't get too much snow uh, last night. A couple centimeters. Um, just covered the branches and everything, so. Yeah, pretty good, nice day. It's only about minus four, so. 
Gonna head on out of here and uh, make our way to the other campground. I'm coming. Come on. So this second night I actually set up camp in a different location. When I got back to the trail it was pretty much dark so I just uh, traveled in till I found a suitable spot and then set up uh, camp so that I could get a fire going to cook my dinner.
everyone, Matt Britton here, back at you. It's January 10th, the morning of. Actually, uh, went out yesterday to try and get a yurt, and they were all booked. So I, I went by, I didn't see many people. I thought they'd be open, but uh, they were all full. So I uh, had to make my way back here, back to camp, and I had to reset everything up. So I didn't get any footage because uh, by the time I got back here, it was pretty much dark. So it was... Uh, struggle just to get camp set up and get fire going again and then um, and it got down to about minus 18 last night with the wind chill so it was definitely a big difference compared to the first night but that uh, that sleeping bag I tell you minus 44 works well um, as long as you have a, a, a layer separating you from the, the like the ground so spruce boughs or branches or some type of foam pad or something just to get you, you you know that break from the cold ground that's pretty much all you need for how for how good those uh sleeping bags are early this morning got up basically at light and uh, packed up headed out went back in because i did two trips so i uh, did all that this morning got everything loaded up and that's that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed the video it's my first time doing winter camping it's definitely unique and enjoyable pretty good uh, definitely a couple things to learn a couple things that do differently nice two nights three days so it's pretty good now i'm gonna head over to the ice ice rink and do some skating and play a little hockey and it'll be good so thanks for watching